I'm feeling good. Um, Heat-wise, not really, but uh, I had uh, had an exhausting match today. Uh, but I, I, I'm really happy to come through because uh, he put a lot of pressure on me. He was very aggressive from the start of the match, and he was taking the chances that you know have been given to him. It's really important. On the second set, I made a transition from being defensive to being offensive, mm -hmm. and uh, in the end, I won it. You've had some trouble with the heat, obviously, in the past here last year, but that was super hot. What what do you try to do to get yourself ready? to come down here? Well, Todd Martin, who is the new member of our team, uh -huh. told me, you have to come 10 days before the Grand Slam. Mm -hmm. And uh, first day I thought, you know, I'm going to get over the jet lag, sleep a little bit longer. No. 10 a.m. I was on the court, <laughs> working like five hours yes. a day on the court. So yeah, I've been, I've been really trying to, to work intensively. Ah, oh, you get the chair? Thank you. I was really trying to, to work, uh, work hard and uh, and get this heat uh, heat problem away. Mm -hmm. So right now, physically, I, I feel good. Uh, Game-wise, I still need to make some things a little bit better, but uh, I'm confident. We got to look at your draw here quickly. You take on Eastman next, had a, a big result for him, but uh, talk about that one. Obviously, the ref, you got Sanga in there. You got to be a pretty solid favor to get through there, but what, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I try to take every match at a time, you know. Uh, I'm well aware of the of the quality of the players that are playing here. You know, it's a Grand Slam. Everybody has a motivation more to do well. And, and I, I think I felt it big time in these two matches where lower ranked players really gave me a, gave me a hard time. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they step it up, they have nothing to lose, they play on the big courts and uh, that, that's where it gets really tricky. But, you know, I'm, I'm confident that I can play even better in two days and, uh, and just uh, believe in the best possible result. Novak, how are you going over there? You can hey, hear me okay? Uh, Everything's good? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Novak, I saw you playing in Kuyong. You played uh, an Aussie boy, 17-year-old, Bernard Tomic there. Uh, firstly, what do you think of his game? And secondly, you just looked a little bit, I don't know, I know you're just testing your game and trying a few things. Uh, you look much sharper here, obviously, but the long season last year, do you feel any effects from that with the amount of matches you played? Well, definitely. I, I was saying on the press conference after those matches in Kuyong that the, really the result didn't matter for me that much. I yep. tried to work on things that I've, uh, I've, I've done on the practice with Todd and, uh, it, you know, it worked well. I, I've done what I needed to do, played some serving volley and tried to make some variety in my game and make, get my game as far as possible. And I, uh, yeah, Bernard, uh, Bernard is, is, is a big talent, I think, and he, he put a lot of effort of playing five sets last night. You know, I, I know it was a struggle for him and it was a lot of pressure, you know, playing a last night match starting at 10, 10 p.m. Yep. It must have been hard for him, but uh, only 17 years of age and still playing on this level, yep. you know, equally with the, with mm -hmm. the guys, you have to give him credit for that. I give you credit, Novak, that you've looked Yeah, for sitting this way, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> time. We're you get extra really credit for that. You can stand up yeah, if yeah, you I want. Can stand yeah, stand up. Yeah. It's yes. I get cramps, yeah. you know. Yeah. You, yeah. know you know what I'm interested in? You know, obviously over the years you've, you've used different people to work on different mm -hmm. parts of your game. But usually South American players have South American coaches. European players have European coaches. You bring in Todd Martin, an American. An American. That never, like, honestly. God bless. Does that ever happen? You know? Very rare, actually. I'm just, uh, I'm just wondering why you made that decision because it, it's you just don't see it much. You see Americans, to my mind, you know they coach Americans, and a lot of Americans want European coaches to right. teach them clay. Well, I have to give him a big credit for that, for working with a crazy guy like I am. <laughs> and, uh, we are two different personalities. I am really wild and uh, sometimes say things that I don't think I have to say, but. He's very calm and he takes time and he, bring, he brings this calmness to, to our team and to myself as well. And, uh, and uh, it, it's all new. It's all, we, we worked uh, prior to US Open a couple of weeks and in London a little bit and, and right here, this is our first trip together. So it takes time, you know, it's, it's a process. It cannot, I cannot feel the results right away of, of our work. Uh, but, but I'm confident, you know, he's a very positive guy. You know, I, I have to say a thing, whenever we practice, you know, I, I like to show my emotions on and off the court, you know. No. Just like they, no, 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 really. No. Like, really? <laughs> like, really? You know, I like to break the rackets. Yeah, why not? So I, 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 you know, I throw a racket and I said, I cannot hit one serve in or whatever. And he right. says, yes, but the shot before the serve was really good. Uh, <laughs> so he always tries good to... Good positivity give, right uh, Yeah, so, so it, it's great. I mean, he's, he's a fantastic person in the first place, uh, very calm, and uh, he has a lot of experience, played on the professional level for, for lots of time. and Got to the final here. Yeah. Exactly. Played a couple of finals in the grandstand, so uh, he's, he definitely can help me out.